Welcome guys to the start of a new Let's Play with a new IP that has an anime on the way from Bandai Namco with action combat, sidekick combat. We now take on a brand new adventure with two heroes, two paths, two stories. Will we engage in both? Let's see. Is it more stories for the two people than say, for example, a game that I could compare to it like Astral Chain? We will find out what this world is all about as we play Scarlet Nexus. So sit back, relax for a full live action let's play here on the Twitch and cut up in bobs for you guys on the YouTube where I will shut up during the cutscenes and enjoy everything developing as we press new game. It's always interesting to try out a new IP and start things when no one knows much about it or anything, which is always great because blind let's plays and all that. First playthroughs and all that. I'm thinking, because there's a difference in character style here, one is a more ranged character and one is a more melee oriented character. And I will start with the guy on the left here and we'll see where that leads. But we need to know your name and it doesn't say here. Yuto Sumuraki. He comes from a great family who had sent us of the founding father. Cheerful and optimistic, he's a young boy with an unwavering and kind heart. Having had his life saved by the OSF when he was young, he was inspired to join the OSF as a volunteer to be able to save others. He fights close quarters with a combination of quick sword attacks and psychokinesis abilities. Let's go. You have to live, no matter what. The virtual brain link cable will now be connected. This will hurt much more than it did in training. Be strong. Systems all green. Beginning SAS cable connection. Is this for real? This is what SAS feels like. <sighs> Good. Seems like you're okay. This aptitude test will determine your platoon assignment. Do your best. Yes, sir! Yuito Sumaragi. Identity confirmed. The other suppression force aptitude test will now begin. Exterminate all others. Our guy has a pain threshold. <laughs> Move camera controls. I think I could do that. Reset camera with L3, not R3. That's a bit weird. Change camera settings. Open the main menu. Sure we can. Let's move on, shall we? This is the final trial. I have to be ready. Stop thinking so much. I have to focus on what's in front of me. If I can complete this assignment, I'll be a member of the OSF. Soon, I'll be able to make my childhood dreams come true. I love how I said success when I completely missed that jump. <laughs> yes, success. It failures that. I should be able to handle any kind of other with my psychokinesis power. Well, especially if I just chuck a ball out of that. Handy ball out that just around. Lock onto an enemy with R3. Press again to disengage. Locking onto enemies is the basic tactic applied in fighting because you should hit your target. Lock on as soon as you encounter an enemy. I want to check the car. Here we go. Yeah. Against the scummy pool. My sword chief. 
80 miles per hour? I don't think I'm reaching that. You know, fights using his power, Psychokinesis, and with his sword. The attack range of his sword is short, but he can overwhelm enemies with his fast attacks. He attacks enemies one by one at a close range. Since weapon attacks with a square, slightly charges the Psychokinesis gauge. Use a mix of weapons and Psychokinesis to dispatch enemies. Hitting an enemy with a weapon attack will automatically lock you onto that target as well. That's good by me. I prefer automatic lock on. You just want me to just do an attack combo on them, do you? Let's keep this up. How does it feel like the action's quite zoomed out? Oh. We did it. Oh, I think I was supposed to do that. Evade enemies for circle, eh? Well, I saw enemy, I sliced enemy. What more do you want from me? There's nothing There's to lock onto. She would know something about her. I have to make it through this exam, no matter what. No something about who? Well, well, my step is going. We got Rising Slash here. I guess I have to take out everything. All right. Let's keep this up. You really have to press them together as well. Anything else? Hey, look! Someone with the sword scabbard on the back can actually sheath it. The instructor always said the most dangerous right. thing is being careless at the end. Well, I can't get the last one by looking at it. Seems I don't have any other buttons at the moment. You know, special attack. Press triangle while moving to perform a sweeping moving spin attack in a wide area. The psychokinesis gauge will recover greatly, so adding this to combos allows you to fight while sustaining the gauge. It's going to be used once per combo, but learning other skills can increase the amount of times it can be used. Nope. No, they're not really taking damage. Form a weapon attack with square when landing a psychokinesis attack. Hold R2 to close the distance to an enemy of a rush follow-up attack. Okay, missed the window. That was a success, was it? Looks kind of failure to me. Defeat the enemy of a rush follow-up attack. Okay. So I guess I'll wait a little bit there. <laughs> that was a rush follow-up attack, but it wasn't the right one, really. So, let's get a car. Well, I'm failing at defeating them with a rush follow-up attack, that's for sure. I'm failing. Psychonesis follow-up attack. When a square or triangle attack lands, perform a psychonesis attack by holding R2 will result in a powerful psychonesis follow attack. It consumes a lot of psychonesis gauge to so restore it by using more attacks. This will allow to come longer. So then just rush in, basically. I don't know how I just randomly pulled in two cards there. So that's the more special attack variant. Let's keep this up. And there's the rush. Enhancing rush psychokinesis follow-up attacks. Learn that the rush follow-up attack and psychokinesis follow-up attacks in skills increases the amount of time they can be used consecutively. Chaining together a rush follow-up attack, a psychokinesis follow-up attack, and then another rush follow-up attack in succession allows you to deal heavy damage. So at the moment I can rush psychokinesis rush, but I can't psychokinesis rush psychokinesis? That's what I'm if hearing. I everything I learned from my training. I should be able to win. I have to. Come on. Seems like I'm easily bashing down the sky at the moment. Could be sorry for him. He's covered in flies. You can view what you learned in the tutorial again from the help screen in the library of the main menu. Our test is complete. Mission successful. This concludes the aptitude test. <sighs> okay, that ends your training. You're an official member of the OSF from tomorrow. 
Cadets now have 24 hours of free time until then. Make sure to get some rest before your duties tomorrow. Understood. R&R &R is good by me. Let's set the scene. Hey, Yuito. How was the test? Nagi, how did it go? On the test, I'd say that I did kind of pretty good. Kind of good or pretty good? We were looking rough when the SAS cable connected. Oh, that really hurt. It was fine after I got used to it, though. Sounds like you had fun. <laughs> That's so like you. <laughs> so tomorrow will be OSF, just like we dreamed. I can't believe it. Mm. Yeah. What's up? You don't sound very excited. No, I'm happy too. Didn't I tell you? I was saved by an OSF soldier when I was a kid. So I wanted to be one as well. But... But what? Lately, I've been wondering if that's it. The end of my goal. I'm here today because someone saved me. So... I'm wondering if there is a better way to save more people's lives. You can't bear such a big burden like that. People have limits. We're OSF, so we fight others. Let's do our best at the job we've been given for now. Yeah, you're right. I guess I was just being a little anxious. First, I have to become a real member of the OSF. Thanks. Your gratitude is greatly appreciated, Mr. Yuito. So you're going to report to Sumeragi Tomb later? I hate telling the ancestors every little thing. So annoying. <laughs> well, it's not just that. The Sumeragi Tomb is collaborating with Baki right now. What? Sumeragi Tomb is your family grave. I know it's a tourist spot, but they do things like that? I heard it's happening more and more. It's something my father decided on. Oh, right. I have to send a message to my dad and brother. Your father won't reply anyway. I know he didn't want you to join the OSF, but man, that's cold. He's always smiling when he's at the council. It's like he's not even two-faced, but three-faced. I mean, he's a politician after all. Anyways, I only send him simple messages. Oh, there's already a reply from my brother. What does it say? Good work. You pushed through. A direct compliment from Chief Sumeragi? You're guaranteed a promotion. <laughs> You're making fun of me. My brother's not going to coddle me just because he's the chief of the OSF. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sure you are. If you're really sorry, you'll give me the keychain from the fortune you get from Baki. All right, I got it. I'll pull a fortune and give you my keychain. Then you have to help me pick up the ladies. I have a better chance when you're with me. What? That's just me doing extra work for you. I, when I said setting the scene, I didn't mean quite so literally. We got a backstory. Crammed into just a few minutes. Brain message. You will receive messages from various people as you progress through the story. You can view messages in the main menu in the library screen. You can also open the brain message screen directly with R1 and D-pad up. Not the plus button. The mini-map is displayed on the upper right of the screen. You can check your surroundings and the objective direction. You can turn it on or off on the options opened with the start button from the main menu. That opens the uh, the big pad, opens the location map as well. You can see more details of your current location on the mini-map. The next objective will be displayed at the top of the location map. If you're lost, check the location map. I won't be lost, honest, he says, starting off in a whole new town. You really do like Baki, though. He kind of makes me feel nice. Like a stuffed animal I had when I was a kid. When you were a kid? Has Baki been around that long? Hasn't he? I can just feel his cuteness in my DNA. What's Baki then? Brain messages. 
It's finally over. We're finally becoming official members of the OSF. It still doesn't feel real. Just when I thought all the hard training was over, they threw the final steps right in our faces. I was ready to give up so many times, but I managed to push through because I was with you, Yuito. We're volunteers, so we might really have our work cut out for us, but I'm looking forward to serving with you as members of the OSF's 567th class. It's quite a lot. This is a report, is it? The final examination's over. Tomorrow I'll be official member of the OSF. I'll do my best. Good work, you push through. We get message via our brain. Spam messages directly into your brain. This would be the future, man. <laughs> we cannot give up on progress. <laughs> hey, Cadet, glad to have you aboard. Honestly, I'm just happy I'm not on the very bottom rung anymore. How are you feeling, Cadet? If you're a volunteer soldier, never let your guard down in real battle. Sometimes there are strong others who actually eat OSF members, although you wouldn't ever encounter major others like that. Okay. Well, they say story beats are always hidden in the NPCs. Well, I say they say, I say. Especially at the start of a game. You can reveal quite a lot in time if you just have a little bit of a look around. What kind of hat is that? Future fashion. Have you heard the rumors about the final station, the abandoned subway? Urban myth enthusiast. Some reckless idiot snuck down into the abandoned subway and said he saw a big ammonite. Is there a big ammonite? Which way do I go? So I'm just... I want to be on the other side of the street by the look of it. Hey, do you know? Apparently they call that red light neon. I love the neon you can see from here. It's so pretty. Machines exchange a lot of information they're operated with abilities. And one of the byproducts of the exchange is the neon light you can see. So wait, the neon light, like these lines aren't power lines. They are lines represented by the transmission of data? Like, data made visual? That's what makes the neon? Oh, okay, cadet, which means you were scouted. Oh, you're a volunteer soldier and you were still able to make it in. That's amazing. I couldn't do that. I don't have any powers that would let me become a volunteer soldier. Give them hell for me. So people have powers. They naturally get us a green flash thing over there. Get into our YouTube ward to meet the Scarlet Guardians. Aren't you with the OSF? I can't believe I met one already. I met, went by the Samaragi tomb as well. You just go straight. Wait, you already know where it is. It's a tourist location. I'm pretty sure everyone knows where it is. Hm. All right. Well, there's only a couple of people to speak to. There are locations where we can gather some money. <laughs> we can't cross the road. No car's going to run me down this time. It's never right, but there. If that's the case, let's go over. So they've taken up power lines in this world, but the transmission of data... Is that really what the neon is? Because then you can literally tell what's connecting to where and who's transmitting to what. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I guess that would make encrypted communications. Maybe encryption is just not having a light. I don't know. Got some jelly. I like it for a vision poster of Major Kyoko. <laughs> Kyoka. But there's nothing but Arashi. It's that Arashi, is it? I guess some people are always going to be held up as celebrities within some kind of fighting call like this. Can you not pass through here? Oh, no, you can. There's items everywhere. I'm looking to go that way. I know you'd want to cross here to go to Sumeragatoon, but you need to use the pedestrian bridge over there. Oh, they've actually, like, closed off. You can't walk on the street. You have to use the bridges. Simple, but effective. Even marks on the minimap. Where there are people you can talk to. Oops, sorry. Monsters that come down from the extinction belt eat human brains and can only be defeated with powers. What? That's still all we really know about others. <laughs> they eat our brains. Okay. I know it's also normal now, but it scares me sometimes. They eat your brains. You don't really worry about others too much when you're in the city. I checked the other forecast, but when I got here, there were always have soldiers and shelters all over. The other forecast. <laughs> Today it's going to be rainy with a slight shower of monster. I can I read the sign too? We evacuated public shelters when the others invade, but apparently there are people outside the city who own their own shelters. I think they're called evacuation units or something. Well, there's hardly any people who need to step outside the city. <laughs> Getting quite an NPC-based info dump here. Oh, I feel like I'm well off the beaten path. Oh my goodness. I've gone way up the street. You can buy most things on Cynet and have it delivered by drone. But the stuff you actually feed your kids you want to see in person before buying. I'm just glad I was born in Suo. 
How far do I go in my NPC quest? Some of them are across the way. Mainly I was looking for those green items because they look to be like little secret hurdy bits. Whee! Okay, we'll cross and start heading back down now. Such is the way. There are so many different types of powers. I think there are a lot of important powers like transfer abilities and teleportation that don't attack enemies directly. The Scarlet Guardians are so cool. I wish I had cool powers like the power to burn up everything or freeze everything. <laughs> but it's fun to talk to all the NPCs. Well, we are learning. You see the drone broadcast, the ever suppression. There's no way we can go out ourselves. We really owe it to the drones. Oh, are you with the OSF? I always watch the broadcast. Thank you for everything you do. <laughs> Sounds like the, uh, the warriors of this world are a bit more required, aren't they? So this is a walkable area. A no traffic area. Look at, looking at Sinet, you realize that Suo is a metropolis. Seiran is a pretty big city too, but it seems so rural compared to Suo. Well, hopefully, in time, we'll get the actual... It will tell me in the future. What each thing is. Pronunciation of. A random bat lot of a green item. Force field mark one. Actually, we don't know the flow of the game yet, so you don't know if, like, these kind of areas will be frozen out if you don't do things now. These add guide visions are displayed using powers through Cynet. I actually heard there are people who don't have abilities. In that case, does that mean they can't see visions? No item. A power enhance. <laughs> I'm causing wreck and wreckage everywhere I go. I didn't mean to, honest. What do you think that Septentrion Monthly should have more features on Captain Seto? I mean, he might not stand out quite as much as Karen or Fabuki, but he's the most diligent member of the Septentrions. Probably. Did you already read the latest issue of Septentrion Monthly? That special feature on Fabuki was amazing. <laughs> well, there's a green item. And by the look of it, we've done our loop. We can also manually save by talking to that guy. The game also intersaves at regular intervals. Should we trust in the order power of autosave? So we've got a shop here and a save. I am Aaron Shadow. Read the brain message carefully for details. Oh, Satori the Archivist, eh? Darren, <laughs> I'd like to speak to the manager of demons. Surely not that kind, man. So I am the recorder for your platoon. A recorder is the most sacred mission. We observe the mission of frontline troops and record proof that OSF troops are performing their duty. You just need to look into my eyes. I will read the necessary information from your brain. You can say my power is very suited for this role. Also, my beloved ride that keeps me mobile, the Motoy bike, can access the shop. The shop is my side job, so feel free to patronize it all you like. Finally, a recorder must remain unbiased and independent. We are not allowed to talk freely with our recording target. Just act as if I'm not here unless you need to record. I will shadow you wherever you go. Do not try to interact with me beyond my job. That is the best for both of us. An in-law explanation for a save point? <laughs> Alright, we can buy or sell items here. Basically a lot of the stuff we've been picking up already and that's already equipped according to the E icon. We're finally at our destination. Generally the Scarlet Guardians are more showy and popular but the National Defense Forces are nice because they're like the unsung heroes. They might not be able to fight against others, but it's the National Defense Forces who protect order in New Himuka. Wait, I've missed a thing here. How'd I run past that? <laughs> I guess I was looking at the evergreen thing. No, oh, it was in a corner. Thank you, Mini Map, as I chuck this bike around the place. The guy next to me really looked up to the OSF when he was a kid, and he took it pretty hard, but he couldn't get in. Please come some slack if he lashes out at you. So there's another kind of defense force. Are you a new OSF cadet? We are the National Defense Forces. Don't get in the way of our mission. We don't have powers like the OSF, but it's the National Defense Forces that protect Suo from everything, excluding others. So you're the general, please.
There are a lot of people paying their respects. Huh, those two girls over there were cute. What? Really? I didn't see them. I can't believe your family grave is a tourist spot. You sure are an elite. My dad and brother are, but I'm not. It's like one of those grand families. Your father is the chairman, and your brother is chief of the OSF. Plus, you're descended from Yakumo Sumeragi, our founding father. He's the hero who saved humanity from the spring of extinction. I wonder what he looked like. Maybe he looked like you. He is your ancestor. He's my ancestor, but that was 2,000 years ago. I certainly don't feel like his descendant. The only record of him is in that mask. Even if they say he's my ancestor, how could I be sure? Ah, uh, I get it. He does look like the villain in a horror movie. His face was injured in the spring of extinction, right? Oh, crap. Your dad would get mad at me for saying that about our country's forefather. It's no big deal. But you are. The Sumeragi house is known for having lots of authority. Your dad got mad when you said you didn't want to be a politician or a bureaucrat. Enough about my family. Let's go get a fortune from Baki. You're not going to pray to your ancestors? Okay, let's get going then. Okay, got it! Let's look at the same time. Roger, these are the fortunes that will decide our fate in the OSF. Ready? Ready? Go! go! <sighs> Very bad luck. Me too. This is a bad sign. Oh, I'm dying. Let's go to a cafe or something after we tie these off. Yeah, we already got Baki's keychain. Why don't we head to Vision Town? Apart from explaining everything to the character who already knows his own family history, there were a lot of leading statements there. Baki keychain was obtained. There are messages that you can reply to as well. If you reply of X, you may receive a reply as well. Some messages will have a time restriction on the reply. In other words, please reply to your brain messages. Isn't SAS awesome? Didn't it hurt you really bad? SAS is really amazing, isn't it? Even though it's an imaginary link, brains link up together to share powers. Actually, what did SAS stand for again? I know I learned something, or I learned it, but I already forgot. Strong something system or something? Yeah, strong something system. We link brains. Supercomputers, man. A struggle arm system. Oh yeah, Nagi, you should make sure Protect has been applied to your force. If Protect is off, your link partner will be able to hear everything you think. Like, if you just happen to think someone is cute or something. Wow, that's terrifying! Now I'm really not sure about this whole thing. SES might be more trouble than it's worth. I'll have to be careful. <laughs> Put up a firewall on your brain. That's all cool. So glad they still have Baki's limited edition keychain. That's Baki, is it? I got the best reading with the Baki collaboration fortune telling. Plus, I got a keychain. This is the best. So cute. Any items hidden around somewhere here? Oh, this is from a friend in the Seiran National Defense Forces. Do you think it's true that there are a lot of OSF members who have been killed in action? He said he would get orders not to tell many people, including the deceased families. It's just a rumor, though. Well, considering I'm part of the 567th platoon, I'd have to hazard a guess at yes. The founding father, Yakumo Sumuraki. A great man who built the foundation for everything that made our new Himuka. This year marks 2020 in the solar calendar year, but did you know it was Yukumo Sumuragi who created the solar calendar? Yakumo. Ah, pronunciations. Saying stuff correctly. It's hard. Let's head back out. Alright, well, we seem to have spoken to pretty much everyone here. Our mission takes us that way. Ah, oh, so we could have explored more. <laughs> that bike's still where I left it. <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> Don't know why that impressed me. I was like, oh, that's why I knocked that bike down. Huh? Others? An other alert? But today's forecast said the threat level here was zero. What? Others? What are they doing in the city? All units, double time! 
Transfer warning. They're deploying the Scarlet Guardians. <laughs> Septentry on Karin and Fubuki. Karen. <laughs> Winter Spring? Septentrion Karin Travers and Fubuki Spring. Karin Regiment, Fubuki Regiment, Plan A, roll out. Civilians, head to the shelter. Yuito, we have to get to the shelter too. We're not real soldiers yet. Uh, yeah. Those are some names. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bray message. Hold on, listen, right? A raid level zero forecast is obviously some kind of subterfuge. Get yourself together, director. Considering it's a forecast, you should be prepared for it to be incorrect sometimes. Stay vigilant. Yeah. Duh. That very bad luck was a curse. Let's get to the shelter. And I shall. Well, everything's been locked off now by the look of it. <laughs> that boulder? How do those things eat your brain? I'm a bit worried about that. From what position? From what direction? The other was defeated with one blow. Septentrion First Class. Brain Eater Major General Karin Travers. Whoa! Hyper velocity evasion into an electric blast? Karin Travers is the only one who can use that many powers. He's so cool. Doesn't he have the ability to copy other people's powers? Yeah, that's why he can use all those powers. It's basically cheating. The other is fighting back, but Major General Travers is unfazed. Major General Spring freezes the other without hesitation. Whoa, an other like that is nothing against a Septentrion class. Mommy? Look out! Hey, are you serious? We're not real soldiers yet. We're the only ones here with the powers necessary to fight the others. We can't, if the instructors find out. We can't just watch people die. I'm going. You call for backup. I don't want to go alone. I'll go with you. Thanks. Ugh, don't look so happy. It's not like I want to go. You're the best. What? You think I don't know that? I'll take the right, you take the left. Got it. Ah! <laughs> Weird flower ladies. Nani, you okay? I don't know. They, they did the skirt, but there's nothing win. really noticeable about you anything that's win. going on here. I think I will peace out a little bit while chucking cars all over the place. It's gonna work. Phase pause. It's not safe here. Get to a shelter. Y yes, sir. Be careful. There are more others. Can you keep fighting? Uh, sure. Why not? I'll take them on. Okay. Let's go. Where's the bread eating mouth? Maybe they don't eat like that. The item menu is displayed on the bottom left of the screen during panel. We can left, right to switch items down and use it. You cannot use an item immediately after another. You'll be able to use another item after a certain amount of time has passed. Oh, that's interesting. No spamming allowed. Oh man, I got hit. Intercept? If you dodge an enemy attack at just the right time, you'll perform a perfect dodge. This grants you a temporary invulnerability, giving you an advantage in battle. Learning certain skills will allow you to recover your psychokinesis gauge by pulling off a perfect dodge, or follow one up with a deadly attack. It said R2 then. Intercept. Come on. Hey, here we go. 
Intercept? Oh, I missed it. That time I didn't have an intercept. But I hope people don't mind their property being destroyed in this way. That's for sure. Now where am I going? Was that the last of them? That's odd. You a civilian? Huh? It's her. You have to live. No matter what. You're OSF? Oh. No, I'm a cadet. I see. Either way, our goal is the same. What do you mean, goal? Are you an idiot? Huh? Shh. Something's coming. Huh? What's coming? Here we go. Huh? Okay. I big thing ram with us the butt. You can use brain talk. Do you see what's happening? Oh, he Let's got me when we take out I was others. behind him. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Just car in the face. I guess he took it quite well, to be honest. Come on. I feel like I should leave. <laughs> Quick, just get me enough power. Oh, never mind. We did it. Good work. That should take care of all the other readings around here. Yes. Kasane, I saved that boy. Nagi, you're okay. Yeah, Naomi saved me. Man, I must look like an idiot. I'm just glad you're not hurt. Thanks, sis. Oh, you two are sisters? Yeah, they're both OSF cadets like us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Nagi Carmen. This is Yuito Sumeragi. I'm Naomi. Naomi Randall. This is my younger sister, Kasane Randall. So it was you making all that trouble. The Scarlet Guardians have eradicated the others. Huh? You saved Ryujin Ward in that amazing victory over the others. What? Uh, well... What is this? A victory interview? It is. How do you feel? Alrighty, alrighty. That's enough filming for today. Oh, Captain Arishi Spring. Just who are these rookies? What? Nagi? Huh? Where is everyone? Huh?
We should be able to talk here. Uh, what's going on? I'm Luca Travers. You're Septentrion 6th Class Luca Travers? It's embarrassing when you put it that way, but yes, that's correct. Are you all cadets? Please open your personal port so I can confirm your identities. <laughs> Requesting permission, are you? <laughs> to enter my brain? Okay. No objections? Thank you. So all four of you are OSF cadets. Cadets aren't allowed to fight others. I, I'm sorry. Isn't OSF responsible for allowing others to enter the local airspace and putting civilians in danger? Kasane! You shouldn't say something like that! Those are some harsh words. But you're right, Cadet Kasane Randall. I'm sure you all have something to say. But first, report to OSF headquarters. Keep away from the press. Got it? Understood. What's that? Oh, casualties from the battle. Two OSF troopers on guard duty were killed. I think it's censored, but it's best not to look too close. Huh? Why? Because others eat human brains. Yes. Looking at headless bodies can have negative lasting effects on your mental health. Oh, I just imagined it. They should teleport or report them out. It's too far to the morgue and powers aren't omnipotent. We have time, so let's talk a little. I'm sure you know, but one person can only use one type of power. But each kind of power has peculiarities and aptitude. Just as there are types of powers, each person has strengths and weaknesses. To use them in combat, we must rely on devices to lessen the stress on the brain. That's why things that can be accomplished without powers, or things with low priority, are done manually. Right, sorry. Now then, I'll be going. That'd be us if we didn't get the others first. I wouldn't let that happen. We're all 567th class, right? We'll stick together and become great fighters. Y yeah Don't worry. I'll protect you, sis. Let's go. Oh, goodbye, Yuito. Nagi. That girl, Kasane Randall. She looks surprisingly like... her. Those two. From the registration numbers, they're in the same class. Are they twins? She's so cute. Huh? Naomi, she's so my type. Kasane is pretty too, but she's a little scary. Naomi is like her opposite. Shy and kind. She kept glancing at me and blushing. Man, this might finally be my big chance. <laughs> You're as simple as always. Whatever. Let's hurry to headquarters. What do you mean, whatever? Uh, you should be supportive when your best friend is in love. Yeah, yeah. Tell me all about it later. Let's go. They should just saw someone with their brain in. <laughs> Straight to love. <laughs> Hi. So, now with a skill tree open and more after very much setting the scene into a world where people can go, oh yes, our eyes are literally censored when someone's head has been eaten off of their body. That's kind of crazy, but of course we don't live in that world, so we don't really understand it so much. You gain brain points BP when you level up. You can learn various skills by spending BP on the brain map screen in the menu. Thank you. So I don't get my head chomped. Thankful for censorship. We just talked about that. <laughs> and you like Kasane, right? Yeah. But I'd never be more thankful for my vision censorship than I was today. Thanks to that, I didn't have to suffer the mental trauma from seeing those dead bodies. Like, I kind of understand that. As a member of the OSF, you'll be seeing more dead bodies, I'm sure. Nothing is more important than blotting out things you don't need to see. Ooh. Ooh, that sentence. No. Hmm. Thankful for... Ah! <laughs> Tricky. You like Kasane, right? Kasane and Naomi. Judging just by their names, I guess they're pretty cute. You know, you like Kasane, right? I saw you checking her out. You always do this to me, Nagi. It's not like that. I was looking at Kasane because she reminded me of someone. The girl that saved me when I was little? Oh, you mean the girl that made you want to join the OSF? Maybe you should ask Kasane about it. She might be able to enlighten you. 
I mean, I can understand not wanting to see someone's brains, but it's the sentence that was used, wasn't it? All right, so after a full military deployment where the weather of Yuito, you're not going to headquarters? was literally brainy and bad guys, let's return back to our headquarters. <laughs> In fact, the save point guys managed to come over this side as well now. <laughs> There's no one in the streets, but to be honest, you wouldn't expect there would be. Sure thing. This is the prologue still. Phase zero. Well, let's learn more by heading back. If we can head back. But still. <laughs> what is the male version of Karen? Karen. We learnt. We learnt something today. I'm going to call my first male child that now. Today was rough. Know me here. Today was rough. Were you at all right? You know what they say. You can't have a rainbow without rain. I'm sure tomorrow will bring something much better. That's a really great thing to say, Naomi. Thank you so much for today. I'll make sure to protect you next time. I'll be the one protecting Naomi, so no need to worry about that. You're pretty scrawny, so I suggest working out more. Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't that Bucky's famous line? Gotta have a rainbow about rain. Wait, Naomi, do you like Bucky too? I love Bucky. Yuito, you like Bucky too? That, oh my goodness, there's a real text chain. <laughs> that makes you so happy. Yes, the things Bucky comes up with really are brilliant, aren't they? Well, it's a smile, there's happiness. Not only is Bucky cute, but he gives us strength too. I really love that. Am I the third wheel here or something? So you like Bucky too, Yuito? That's not a bad thing at all. I won't forget it. Fourth. Demote to fourth. Oh. Complaints or the people coming out of the shelter? Can I cross the street? No. Not that there's any cars. And there's a lot of relatives within the OSF core. Arashi Spring, Hibuki Spring. Oh, it looks like another group of cadets has arrived. That must be Cadet Yuito Sumaragi and Cadet Nagi Carmen. So, it appears you were able to fight an other before your official assignment. How was your first fight? Huh? Were you afraid? Uh, no. I just used my training. I see. So, you were able to fight calmly. Although still a cadet, you are a true Scarlet Guardian. Amazing. Really? Cadet Yuito Sumeragi. What will you tell your father, Chairman Sumeragi, about your actions today? I've been ordered not to answer any questions. Excuse me. Nagi, let's go! You got a big head for a cadet. Huh? What did you say? All right, everyone, don't fight. I'm Kyoka Eden of the 1st Regiment, 8th Company. You're Cadet Yuito Sumeragi and Cadet Nagi Carmen, right? Chief Kaito Sumeragi has asked to see both of you. Hurry to the Chief's office. Be ready for a lecture. You did a good thing, but it's important to follow the rules as a member of the OSF. Good luck. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Just here in the post roll to say there was an OP that played at this point of the game with the song Dream and Drive by the Oral Cigarettes that's been cut to prevent any issues in the future. You can check it out on Bandai Namco's channel if you like, link in the description below. See you for part two and hey, why not check out some of these other series?